Hello guys, in this video we're going to set up a very simple menu system in Game Salad. We'll also include some images and uh, maybe some effects on those images and we'll get some sounds in there as well. I've already brought the images into the media library so I've got a back button, an options button, a play button, I've got a menu background as well and some generic menu sounds that go something like this. Alright, okay, so we're going to apply those sounds to these buttons uh, just to make the menu a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. So the first thing we should do here is get the background on the go, so I'll just call this BG for now. And we will come down to the Attributes tab, uh, sorry, Attributes panel, Actor tab, and we'll select the image as Menu Background 1. I'm going to make this menu background the right size for the screen, so I'm going to set it to 480 on the width and 320 on the height. I'm going to take that background, drop it into my level. If I want to make sure it's right dead center, I'm going to use the X and Y coordinates in the top right and make sure that it is sat right in the middle, which it is now. Okay, much better. Now, um, we're going to need our um, start button, our play button, our options button on here as well. So I'll just add two actors. I'll call the first one uh, play BTN for play button. And the second one, uh, options BTN for button. And we'll apply, apply our images to that now. So I'm just going to choose the play button, come down to image, and I'm going to choose play button for that. And then options button, come down to image, and choose options button for that one. Uh, we are going to need a back button, but I'll bring that in a little bit later on. Now, what I want to do with these buttons is actually get them to change size when the player hovers over them, just to indicate that they have hovered over the button. Um, so I'm going to change the size of the actor, because I want it to grow to 120 by 120, which is its size at the moment. But I want to start it at 100 by 100. So I'm just going to change the size on the width and the height to 100. And do the same for the play button, so size. And 100 by 100 and I'm going to place these into the scene like so there we go I'll do the job I'm just going to position that a little bit more carefully and we'll leave them there all right so there's our menu in place but of course it doesn't do anything just yet so I think we'll start off with the options scene now if we go to our scenes tab you can see we only have the one scene which is the one that we're working in right now so I'm going to rename that scene main menu, not menu main, but main menu. The next scene that I'm going to create is an option screen and we'll have, uh, let's say, a level 1. Now, I'm not actually going to have a level in here for this demo. This would lead you on to level 1 of your game, of course. And I'm not going to have much in the option screen either. I'm just going to show you how to get these buttons to work so you can navigate through this menu. Alright, so we'll go back to the main menu scene, we're going to select our options button actor because that's where we're going to go first. And we're going to start putting some rules and behaviours in to make this work. So we're going to start off with a rule that says when the mouse button is down and the mouse position is over the actor, do change scene. And we want it to change to the option screen. So we can test that out now. Click on the play button, nothing happens. We click around, nothing happens. If we click on the options button, it takes us to the options screen. Fantastic. But we've got no way of getting back yet. So let's go into our options scene. There we go. And we'll put a background in as well. Might as well put the same background in there. Just going to set that to exact numbers. 240, 160, alright, and we're going to make an actor for a back button that's going to take us back to the main menu. So I'm just going to add a new actor, and we'll call this the back button, and we need to apply our image to it. So we're just going to go to the actor tab, and come down to image, and back button, and we'll want to make this one a little bit smaller, so I'm actually going to set the size of this one to be 40 by 40, So I just want it to sit in the bottom left hand corner of the screen there. So we'll leave it around about there. Okay, so we'll go to the back button. And we'll make a very similar rule that says when the mouse button and the mouse position is over the actor, do change scene. And we want it to go 
back to the main menu. So let's have a quick look. So again, we can click around and nothing happens until we hit the options screen, which takes us to the options menu, and we can click the back button to take us back to the main menu. All right, not too bad. I've actually noticed that I've kind of misplaced that background see it moving a little bit. So I'm going to quickly change that in the options. Uh, apparently it's positioned correctly. So okay, I'll just leave that the way it is, I suppose. Let me move it up a pixel, see what happens. Yeah, that's a little bit better. That's better. Yeah, okay, cool. Alright, so the next thing to do would be to get the play button to take us to level 1. So I'm just going to click on the play button actor in the library. I'm going to write the rule. And again, we're going to use mouse button is down and the mouse position is over the actor. Do, and yet again, change scene. And we're going to go to level 1 and we'll just check to make sure that works. So options take us to options, back takes us back to the main menu, and the play button takes us to level 1. Alright, marvellous. Uh, now we'll start making it a little bit more fancy. So let's get uh, let's get these buttons to change size when we hover over them. Right, that would be good. So I'm going to make this rule, we'll call it we'll just say change scene. So I'll just spell change incorrectly. Change becomes change. Let's shrink that down. Alright, so let's make a new rule that says right, when the mouse position is over the actor, do, and we're going to change two attributes here. And the attributes that we're going to change is the size, width, and height. Okay, so we're going to go change attribute and change attribute in our do section. And the first one, we'll click on the A symbol here to open up the attribute editor. And we'll go attributes, and it's uh, on the play button size width and then we'll do the same so attributes play button size height and we're going to get it to go to 120 and 120 so we'll just check to see if that works so we hover over yeah and it changes size but when we leave it it doesn't come back to its original size so we need to set that up so to do that we're going to use the else and of course the else means when the when is not happening so whenever the mouse position is not over the actor, that's when the else kicks in. So again, we're going to do two more change attributes. I'm going to go attributes, play button, size, width. And then attributes, play button, size, height. And we're going to get it back to that size that we started, which was 100 pixels. All right, let's have a look. So the rule basically says when the mouse position is over the actor, change the width to 120, change the height to 120. Else, which means when the mouse position is not over the actor, change the width to 100 and set the height to 100 as well. So let's have a quick look, see if that works. So hover over, it gets bigger, we leave, and it gets smaller. All right, pretty good. Let's get a sound applied to that as well, just to make it a little bit more pleasing. So we can add it to our current rule, which says when the mouse position is over the actor, and in the do section, we're gonna add a play sound behavior. And the sound that I'm looking for is this sound right here that I've got in my library already. All right, let's try it out. Yeah, quite like that, that's good. All right, let's do the same for the options button. So again, I'm going to call this the Chinage, do the same thing again, change scene, and we'll make our new rule on the options button, and we'll do when mouse position is over the actor, do change attribute, and the change attribute, and we're going to go options button, size, width, I want to set it to 120, and then attributes, options button, size, height, 120 and then else we need our change attribute again and we want it to change back to 100 so we've got attributes options button size width and then attributes options button size height and we'll set that back to 100 and we need our play sound in as well so we're going to get our play sound into the do section and we'll go for the same sound so let's have a quick look at that yeah, quite happy with that. Do like that. Very good. Okay, cool. So we're going to go back to the editor now. And uh, let's get this sound to play when we press the options button. So I'm just going to quickly check my sounds and see which one I want. I'm going to use that for the back, I think. And yeah, we'll use that for options, right? 
So we'll use sound03 for options. So we're on the options button and we'll make uh, we'll add this into the change scene rule because we've already got when we click the button over the uh, over the actor uh, go to the option screen so we'll add in a play sound and it was sound 03 for that let's have a quick look yeah all right cool but we need one for the back button and we need the back button to change size as well so let's go to our back button change scene for that we might as well add in our play sound while we're here Hit play sound and which sound did I want? I think it was sound 02 wasn't it? yeah sound 02 so we're going to add that in so play that sound when we click it and we need to get it to change size as well so we'll go rule when the mouse position is over the actor do change attribute change attribute we want to change the back button size width and the back button size height and what size did we start at 40 let's go up to 60 so 60 and 60 in there we also wanted to play that sound so we'll go play sound and we'll get it to play uh, menu sound 01 this is when we hover over it by the way, not when we click it. And then else, change attribute, change attribute, and we want it to go back to 40. So back button, not position, size, width, go back to 40. Uh, back button, size, height, go back to 40. All right, let's have a quick test. That's all working fine, that works fine. We need the sound in for when we actually click the back button. So we're going to add that into our change scene. Oh, did it play? I didn't hear it. I think we did set it. Let's have a quick listen. Yeah, it did play. I can just barely hear that, but you guys should hear it just fine. All right, fantastic. So we got that all working quite nicely. Um, was there anything else we needed to do? Yeah, the play sound. So we'll go back to our play button. Might as well go back to our main menu here. So when we click the play button at the minute, we don't get any sound. So we'll just add in that last sound effect, which is this one. Yep, cool. Alright, so we're on our play button. And in the change scene, we'll add in a play sound. And we want to play sound menu 07. Alright, that should be it. Let's give it a go. So we've got our sound effects when we hover over the buttons. This one takes us to the options screen. Back button takes us back to the main menu. And the play button takes us into level 1. Alright guys, that just about wraps it up for this one. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you find it useful. And I'll see you next time.